Hello there, and welcome back to another Collection Log Statistics video. As you all know, I can train my army of simulations to take on every boss or activity in the game. The training, or in other words, coding, can take up some time, but the simulations itself are usually very fast once they know what to do. The boss I'm going to talk about in this video is another story. To put things in perspective, it probably took an hour or so for 1 million King Black Dragon completions, and less than half an hour for 1 million giant mole completions. This boss however put up a much bigger fight, as my army fought for 49 hours straight. I completed the Chaos Elemental collection log 1 million times, just like 1 million players would kill the Chaos Elemental and only the Chaos Elemental until they completed the collection log. Let's take a look at the data and all the loot that was gathered and see how insanely rare some of these drops are, or if there's a chance to get extremely lucky. Remember, no real Chaos Elementals were harmed in the making of this video. Let's start with an average log completion for a player who would only kill Chaos Elemental for the title. As you may notice, I had to expand the amount of item slots just a little bit to fit the entire drop table of this thing. A small fact that I read on the wiki is that this monster holds the record for having the largest drop table, with 128 items, not counting the rare drop tables etc. But this is basically what your log would look like if you would get everything at or very close to the actual drop rate. Of course you don't need 3 of all of these items, but that is what an average can do if we're looking at super rare items. Realistically a player will get 5 pieces of one item and only one of another item for example. You've probably already spotted the bottom of the image. The average skill count to obtain the Chaos title by only killing the Chaos Elemental is 45,754, which is a huge number of kills. On the wiki it says that the highest kill count out of all actual players in the game was 39.5 thousand as of December 2018. That's almost a year ago by now, so if you know who this might be or if anyone has passed that by now, I would love to know about it. The average pet drops at 1162 KC, once again, and the average loot value comes in at 1.2 billion. But still, 45k kills is a very big effort for what you get in return. If you have taken a closer look at all the items, and you're already wondering why a lot of the collection log items are repeated at the bottom of the extra loot tab, that is because, for those items, there is both a normal and a corrupted version of the item. The normal items are worth a decent amount, whereas the corrupted versions are not really. That's why I just threw them with the extras. However, either version can count towards the collection log. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Okay, we've talked enough about the average. Now, what we're all really here for, out of a million Chaos Elemental collection log simulations, what was the fastest completion? Killing only Chaos Elemental 9424 times for the entire log. That seems doable, right? However, the first thing you may notice are the grey squares everywhere. I put them there to visualize what I mentioned earlier about the corrupted version of these items that count towards the collection log. So basically, there's one corrupted item at the bottom for every missing item at the top. I really hope that makes sense somehow. To get all the rare items that you can see on screen in less than 10k kills, let alone so little duplicate items, is some crazy RNG that unfortunately only 1 in a million of us may experience. The pet for this specific simulation dropped at 898, so nothing too crazy right there, and the loot comes to 203 mil. And the final item that dropped to complete the collection was the corrupt Vestas plate skirt. That's the pants looking skirt at the bottom left in the loot tab, if you were still somehow confused. Now that we've seen the luckiest completion at Chaos Elemental, prepare for the unluckiest simulation out of a million on these already insanely rare drops. The most kills it took for one simulation to obtain the Chaos title is 238,088 Chaos Elemental kills. That is very close to prestiging 4 times for this boss. Imagine the amount of hours that would take in the wilderness and the amount of PKers you would have to deal with. Luckily, my simulations are PK proof, so I didn't have to worry about that. The pet was obtained relatively early during this simulation at a kill count of 686. But then, take a moment to look at all the loot here. 
Almost all rare collection log items are in double digits, apart from the last obtained item, the corrupt dragon plate skirt. Finally, after 238k kills. The final item was bound to be one of the corrupted dragon pieces, because there's only one version of each, compared to all the other items which have a normal and corrupted version. But still, this many kills for one item is some bad luck, if you'd ask me. Then of course there's a nice 82 mil cash tag, almost 5 mil of both of the mitral darts, 2.2 mil chaos runes and 1.4 mil blood runes. All of the loot together comes to a total value of almost 6.3 billion GP. This does include the GP that you would get from handing in the ultra rare artifacts, but that amount is quite neglectable at 6 million GP. If anybody ever gets 4 prestiges at the Chaos Elemental, with or without going for the collection log items, that would be one of the craziest achievements I've ever heard of. Of course, nobody in their right mind is actually going to try to get all collection log items from just Chaos Elemental, if you can take them from Revenants. So why even bother killing Chaos Ellie? Oh right, for the pet of course. Let's take a look at the collection log stats if the only thing we're after is the pet. As you can see, I've put a red square around every item that can be obtained elsewhere. In other words, every item except the pet. It's not much of a surprise that the kill count for the average completion comes at 1162, just like the average pet kill count. A small difference compared to the 45k kills we saw earlier. The total loot also plummeted to a humble 30 mil, but I feel like that's just a nice extra if you're going for the pet. The next simulation is pretty hilarious. If you're lucky enough to get a pet at 1kc, you can basically leave the Chaos Elemental for what it is and camp Revenants for the remaining items. That's how you obtain the Chaos title at a kill count of 1, which looks super clean in my opinion. The loot value is only 19k however, which you can either pick up or leave for the PKR who will arrive when you are on your way out of the wilderness. Again, the final and only item drop being the Rips of Chaos makes this the fastest log completion. Then let's also take a look at the slowest completion when going for just the pet. It took the simulation 5142 kills to get the pet drop and thus completing all of the significant items for the log. However, it got some nice loot and even other rare collection log items in the process. 87 Dragon 2-8 swords and 12 other uniques that you wouldn't have to go for at Revenants anymore. All loot combined results in 166 mil of which 66 mil comes from just the Stadius Warhammer alone. Going this dry on the pet is only a 1 in a million though, so no need to worry just yet. That being said, let's take a look at the pet drop distribution graph for the Chaos Elemental. In this graph you can see the pet drop distribution for 1 million simulations. The higher the graph goes, the more players actually get the pet at that point. This graph is very comparable to some of the other pet drop distributions that we have seen so far, you can see the amount of pets dropped peaking every 500 kills, which I find very satisfying. This is because of the threshold that the Rips of Chaos item has. According to the graph, your chances to get a pet are the highest around either kill count 500 or kill count 1000, since those two peaks are the highest. Then to go over 5k kills dry on the pet, you almost have to be the unluckiest out of a million players. So don't worry yet, if you're already above average, chances are very small it will take you this long. That was it for this video, I hope you found it as interesting as I did. Hopefully I stimulated some of you to complete the collection log yourself, or maybe you already completed it and had fun comparing yourself to the average and best and worst cases. Now before I go I have something to ask all of you who watched until the end. At first I was going to cover every boss in order from low to high level, but I've been getting a lot of requests. What I want you all to do is to let me know which bosses you would like to see next. Leave your own comment down below and also upvote comments of other people with the same requests, so I can see which IDs are the most popular. From now on, I will be mixing up the order of the series like you guys want me to. Be as creative as you want, other runescape activities apart from bossing that involve RNG also work, and I'm open for all IDs. If you enjoyed this kind of video and want to see more like this, be sure to like the video and subscribe, because I'm definitely putting my army of simulations back to work as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you next time.